painkiller trusted for decades actually may leave a lasting mark on the developing brain. Of course, I'm talking about the press conference a couple of days ago, whereby President Trump and the NIH director and RFK, Secretary of Health and Human Services, were talking about the link between Tylenol and neurode neurodevelopmental delay. Now, most people will equate that only to autism, but understand that's also ADHD, there's cognitive, decline, uh, cognitive delay, behavioral disorders, so there's other things involved in that, and autism is just one of them. But uh, what happened in the response there, what you saw was the, how politics has invaded science. How one side of politics said, no, I'm going to take all the talent all I can, and I'm pregnant second, third trimester, which is egregiously problematic <laughs> um, from a Tylenol perspective, from a baby, from a developmental brain perspective, because timing is everything there in neurodevelopment, particularly during the second and third trimester. But then we saw on the other political spectrum, uh, people saying, well, it's just this one thing that Tylenol is impacting it. And people saying, well, no, it's not Tylenol that's contributing to autism, it's the vaccines. You know, And so we get caught up in this kind of ideological, I think, um, uh, box, and we can't let ourselves think outside of that.